tuna discuss ABCD. It's okay, yeah? just draft the contract. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kaibu tena sana. Uh, we also have Gladys. Uh, Gladys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, you have a lovely smile. Thank you. Ji kama una kwanga tuivo 24/7 because from the moment because of Jesus and my husband. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> of Jesus and your husband. Yes. Okay. okay. Some of us we actually do need that Jesus like properly. Uh, Mr. Jean, karibu tena sana to the show as well. Thank you. I'm um, glad to have you guys here. So should we just get into the meat of the matter? Let's you guys are a lovely it. couple first of all. Um, Thank you. great chemistry. The way you guys are discussing about things. Kuna mali ni mwana mki gossip. I hope you're not talking about our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no it's comment. State, it's state of the art coffee um, <laughs> imported is. from a place known as uh, 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 Kiambu County. Mm, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about how long you guys have been married first of all. How long? We'll be 7 years in February. We'll seven. start our 7th yeah. year in February. So we will be 6. Yeah. In February. Yeah. <laughs> 6 years. Yeah. Um a, do you, there's a word that people keep on saying uh, as far as marriage is concerned, boredom. Do you guys ever get bored of just being married? Yeah, yeah. we get bored of not being together. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, the life so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's live, so I'm sorry. Ibenda, so everyone, even in China, there's a guy actually watching from Hong Kong. Wow. <laughs> Alright, um, so six years of marriage, yeah. absolutely amazing, good yeah. stuff. But how long did you court date before you actually got married? Good question. Like a month later, like, babe, what are we doing? We just get married. <laughs> that was the yeah. story. <laughs> no, <laughs> guys, come on. <laughs> how long did you date for? Let me start with the lady. When, from the moment we met to the day we got married, it's mm -hmm. exactly seven months. When I say married, I don't mean like yeah. rurashio. I mean like yeah, the wedding, like, wedding, like wedding, 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 wedding. Yes. So you did everything rurashio and 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 Ngasia and the itara in record seven months. Well, we did the traditional moja. ones. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tuli ruka ruka. Okay. Yeah. All right. to okay. Dating married. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys met and you're like, hmm, I'm marrying this chick, and here we are. Yes. Yeah. So Jean, let me ask you. Um, did you? introduce her to your family did you start with your friends or what happened i i can't even remember how that went but i think what happened is i had a conversation with my with my parents mm -hmm. and told them there's this person mm -hmm. that you guys need to need to see okay and my dad actually asked you haven't spoken about her in mm -hmm. the past what's going on with that i told him you don't worry uh, <laughs> i'll bring her to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of our very long lecture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and that was probably like uh, three weeks. Okay. That was after, three weeks after the first day we met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So wait, you went and you did you like sit your folks down, or it was some random conversation? Zile za eh, daddy ni ajem kofiti. By this day, kunau day. Something like that. Ah. Something like that. What? There's something like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about you, you Gladys? Did you? Uh, you know, do some prayer arrangement like you told your parents, hey mom, but dad, uh, then I come home Easter and then I can something I want us to talk about. How did it happen for you? No, I did it on phone. <laughs> hey, dad. Who are you people? I said, I said, I said it's my dad because he's more child. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hi dad, I have a boyfriend and we're getting married. Mm -hmm. I wanted to meet him. It was, mm -hmm. yeah. So you told, you actually told your dad, both of you, it looks like you're closer to your dad. Dads are cool. Yeah. yeah. Generally, dads are cool. Dads are cool. Yeah. Dads are cool. <laughs> 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 um, Ebony, so what, what do you think about the situation? Like seven months, seven months, bro. Like seven months. A lot of Kenyans here get married because they have them ball. Let me tell you, <laughs> um, if you follow them and you spend time with them, uh, you will know that you know it. It really doesn't take you dating for a long time. It just takes two willing people who desire to make it work and are in love with mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. and care about each other and care about this institution for it to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a fantastic example. Mm -hmm. You know, six years later, three children later. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's three, a fantastic nice. story. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you know yeah. these guys. When you will you officiate? Well, yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, we have one big happy family here. And before we go any further, let me ask you to join the conversation as well. You can find us on our various social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And hey guys, we have a WhatsApp uh, number as well. So kindly, here we go with our question of the day. And um, the question is, what are the do's and don'ts of introducing your partner to your family? What are the do's and don'ts of introducing your partner to your family? They have said they call their dads, um, you know, told them that there's something going on. And then they go like this, seven months later, here we are. Uh, seven years later, actually, here we are. So you tell me, in your own opinion, what are the do's and the don'ts? Yeah? Call us as well. We'd let, definitely love to hear your voice. Uh, the SMS number is also 21222. We shall sample those uh, calls and SMSs and WhatsApps as we continue. Uh, going back to the question, what did you consider... What did you see, not even consider, what did you see in Gladys that made you, into the, uh, made you to rush, and I'll say rush, of course, uh, with reservation <laughs> and, and respect, but what made you rush this within seven months? Actually, ah, mm. that story. Actually, mm -hmm. um, I, I had been in one relationship, one. Okay. In Your actually, entire life you've been in only one and now this is the one. second. One. And... Um, it was actually a time when I had, uh, before that, I was mm -hmm. supposed to be, uh, to have the calling of Paul on my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or so I thought. Calling of Paul? Yeah. Like, what does that mean? Don't get married. Okay. Just serve Jesus. Ah. <laughs> Do you mean and you wanted to become a Catholic priest? Um, um, uh, okay. Uh, Move on. <laughs> uh, story for another day. Story <laughs> for another day. Uh -huh. So then, uh, at some point I discovered, mm, maybe go this direction. So I was in one relationship. And it drew, it was, it was two years long. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't the way that I was supposed to go. Okay. And when I left that relationship, I, I gave myself mm, an ultimatum or a, a, a vow, a, an I vow. Okay. <laughs> that uh, if I, I am not getting married, but if I ever do, mm -hmm. my job is to identify how, how the, to authenticate that this is a person. Mm -hmm. And after that, mm -hmm. what's that wait for? Hakuna Jakuis time. Yeah, okay. so that's the, so now when we met, mm -hmm. she, she checked every box without me thinking she was, without, without uh, first of give all. Me, give me three boxes that she checked. Extremely intelligent. Okay. Very, very, Aww. very intellectually <laughs> engaging. Mm -hmm. uh, goofy. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. And then just an all around very generous person. Okay. Just, yeah. So um, intelligent, goofy, uh, generosity as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she ticked, of course, those boxes and much more, and you were like, Wait, what am I waiting for? Mm -hmm. And that, those, those are the words that I used. I asked mm -hmm. her, What am I waiting what for? What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Brother, you are not distracted. Not to yank things. Let's not go kando kando. Uto uto si badu kuwa. Brother, you are not blind, ama. As in, kuna jaro kuna tumu tu kukaro tu sumbuwa na. It was check boxes. Eh? Kama ukiangalia check boxes. Aha. Hey, akuna ma distraction. That's it. Okay. Gladys, for you, what what made you accept his proposal? Ah, it's a funny story. Um, in I think our second week, I asked him to define the relationship mm -hmm. because of from that place for you don't just keep going for coffees with a guy until they tell you what's going on yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's like we've been doing my coffees <laughs> <laughs> so he's like see you on my cheek mm -hmm. i'm like i didn't hear you asking me out <laughs> <laughs> so he assumed that we were dating mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're like okay he assumed brother must be sorry one of you like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And I was like, so, I see then, uh, are we going to get married, or mm -hmm. what are we going to do, nini? Right. And then him was like, me, I'm in it for marriage. Me, I don't know what you're here. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Him, he was, he knew, you know, this is where we are going and stuff uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. um, so I was a bit nervous because uh, my, I was a firstborn, I'm a firstborn. Okay. And in, Expectation. yeah, expectations <laughs> for when you get a boyfriend, mm. you wait for six months. Mm -hmm. Then you talk about Russia, then you wait mm -hmm. for another six months, then you talk about, you know, like okay. that, like that. Okay. And I was like, okay, um, we seem to be ready, uh, we are old enough, yeah. uh, 
we can do this mm -hmm. so when hashtag, he said hashtag like hashtag if you know you know yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. yeah. i was like so 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 okay. we, we just get married then you know right. i mean there was really nothing uh -huh. we were waiting for uh -huh. the getting to know each other part uh -huh. we used to talk like for hours on okay. end just just hold on because i want to pick a caller uh, called kagwema kagwema good morning how are you how are you doing sir I'm very fine. You are very lovely with that wonderful panelist there. Eh? Thank you very much, Kagwema. What is your question or comment? I wanted to comment about whether it is good or bad to introduce your partner to, 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 your, to, your, to your, your people. Okay. And uh, I, I say this will depend on what kind of what kind of family do you have because there are families you can introduce your partner mm. and then you, you realize that the whole thing is uh, is actually wrong. It is it's messed up. There are people who are malicious. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, 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 a family which is very supportive, yes, it's okay to introduce your partner. And again, mm -hmm. it will depend on what kind of uh, a relationship are you in. Yes. Like for my case, if you are, if you do Sarabdu and then you want to start another relationship, mm -hmm. you see dynamics are very different as to that person who has never married. Eh? True, it's a very different ball game altogether. Okay. So it will depend on what kind of uh, relationship are you having. And are you married from outside, outside your tribe because you can have a half of opposition? Mm -hmm. Like the man in Narok, you have just featured a man in Narok whose uh, who's, yes, he was taken by the father. You can see the, the dynamics there. So Very it will true. depend on the family, the support, and what you have. So okay. there are so many do's and don'ts. But depending on the support of the family, mm. it's well and good. But me, when I was introduced, I never introduced mine. I, I quoted for a very short time, yes. and I stayed with that lady for 20 Eight years. Wow. So you don't have to take a very long time to quote somebody. Okay. Thank you very much, Kagwema. All right. Um, he has mentioned dynamics there, Nini Nini. Yeah. And let's now get to the meat of the matter here. Uh, probably I'll even ask you, Pastor Emmanuel, when, when we get into certain uh, situations such as theirs, a lot is considered. And a lot of people don't necessarily think about it until they get to a point, like I said, oh my God, she's pregnant or... Uh, you know, oh my God, we have now been together for, I don't know, a year. He can't just leave me, so I need him to see my folks and kind mm -hmm. of that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. are, are, there, are there some things that we, we need to consider before we actually introduce our babe? Um, I think so. I think there's very many things that we need to consider. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important is, um, for you as somebody who's courting, it's also important to, uh, if, if, if you get to a certain stage, or if you get past a certain stage where you've defined the relationship mm -hmm. and you're not in a situation, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, when you've defined the relationship, it's important for you now to begin learning about your bay. Mm -hmm. um, it's important to know, especially their back, backgrounds, you know, uh, so where, where are they from? Yes. What's their family setting like? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, their family will tell you a lot about who this person is. Mm -hmm. um, if they come from a home with drunkards, if they come from a home with abusive parents, if they mm -hmm come from a loving home where everybody is close it will tell you that why he responds the way he responds, he responds or why yeah. she responds the way she responds so i think it's important as mm -hmm. early as possible once the relationship is uh, is defined uh, for you to you know uh, at least make them known mm. uh, in public um, okay. or make them known even to your family All right. and even your family you know uh, they will there's things that your family will see yeah now granted some families you know um, you need to also know your family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for because sure. uh, some yeah. families you know like for example if it's my family mm -hmm. even before i meet a chick yeah. i'll tell them wow 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 you guys i saw i yeah. saw yeah. i have to yes. uh, and they will say support you know, they'll support mm. and give me a... Like we're with you. We're with you. Mm. But there are some families, if you say that, you see, you know, they say, Kwanza Maliza education. You All know, right. Kwanza Maliza Shule. You know, there's different... Uh, you need to know mm. where your people are yes. uh, when you think through, you know, this whole introduction thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Jean, let me ask you. Uh, did, did you introduce her to your friends first? Because, you know, as, as boys, we mm -hmm. boys to approve. We have to say, we have to say, we have to say, we have to I'm going to say, hey, Buddha, Papa, that we do many things. You know, did, did, you, <laughs> did you introduce her to your friends first, or you went straight to the folks? Actually, for my friends, mm -hmm. uh, Mambo was for it was lightning speed. They okay. discovered, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But did they know her before? Some of them knew her, but it didn't really matter what their opinion was. For me, I knew what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I had found what I wanted here. Mm -hmm. So the only hurdle that was going to be was my folks. 
I want your kind of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I have judgmental friends. Yani. They'll be like, hey, Buddha, chana, chano, ayapana, chano, demu, atakusumbua. You know? But anyway, continue. Mm-hmm. So, I think for me, once, the only thing I wanted was for my folks to be good with it. Okay. Once they were good with it, mm-hmm. it didn't matter what anyone said or thought. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, my buddies are just, everyone has an interest. True. Mm. Maybe it's because you guys usually hang out, watch those days, 24. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, 24, 24. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 24, the series was on. Mm. People maybe, because they usually Jack come. Bauer. And, uh, Jack mm. Bauer. Yes. So, because maybe they usually come and watch that with you and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So they have personal interest that when you hook up with somebody, uh, you disappear for a while. Yeah, so not even for a while, your life changes completely. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So with, with so many interests at stake, I don't even want to know what these, those mm-hmm. interests are. I want to know who are the people who matter. Okay. And once they approve, that's it. Me, that's it. We have James from Kitale as well. James, good morning. Hello, James. James, hello. James, are you still there? Yeah. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. What is your question or comment? Hello. Yes, hello, James. I can hear you. Sema. All right, we've lost James. Please, uh, James, call us back. Now, reduce the volume on your TV, eh? That uh, we don't have that feedback to Elewane. Uh, Gladys, I'll ask you the same question. Yes. Did you introduce him to your girls? Um, uh, you don't have these people. I, 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 I didn't really have a clique mm-hmm. of girls, but I talked to some of my girlfriends about him mm-hmm. and told him, yeah, I found a guy, nini, nini. Um, and... I introduced him to my now we have now they're our common friends yes. but we used to hang out um, and play games on Thursdays mm-hmm. mixed girls boys together so I introduced him to those guys and they welcomed him with open arms okay yeah. <laughs> no one no one no one told you manze glado hey boys is it dread Joe manze Joe are you sure am i interested in this is this your ratio by the am i this is just a random one uh, that's but, a random one but <laughs> they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't ask at manze Joe ko sure manze Joe uni so dread ona kanga so bangi eh ana ka tu pombe eh they didn't no he didn't have locks before <laughs> ah okay actually this will cut with her she she forced me to have this on my head ah cuz she also has locks yes okay <laughs> so they're, they're, they're twinning <laughs> they're twinning <laughs> all right we have a call on the line good morning hello hello i'm Bobby. how are you doing sir i'm very fine brother how are you i'm quite fine sir what is your question or comment uh, so, if I'm a swali, my willy. Tafadali Uliza. Uh, at this stage and time, mm-hmm. to say me on a date with Chana. Okay. And uh, you know, there's no Ujafika ile mahali ya formalize marriage, mm. you know. Nkweli. Ni ile sumu na date Chana hapa na pali. Mhm. Then we're gonna pass here instruction. Yes. Instruction one ni kwamba for us, you know. Psychologists will tell you you have to keep three things in secret. Okay. Your marriage life, mm-hmm. wealth, mm-hmm. and your personal goals. Okay. So those three things, until they materialize, you have to keep them secret because they are evil people who will jeopardize. Very true. So, you you demu kumambia usiniweke status ya WhatsApp. Yes. You know, the wanafanya ile photo grid. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 The, the subsequent psychological effect in her mm-hmm. and, and Napia wewe because if you are trying to get so many people so how are you going to release her maintaining okay. that you have to you know to release her while she is satisfied um, Ahmed, why do you want to break up with me? I don't know, I don't know why you are going to give me a question I don't know, I don't know Alright, thank you very much Ahmed 
<laughs> so what was the question again? Uh, he's asking uh, yeah. because you know you've dated this person of course you guys have grown in love together yeah. but now you you want to leave because clearly this is not working uh, how do you live without affecting both your psychology uh, psycholo psychologies because uh, nowadays people hurt themselves because at the end of the day someone might end up killing themselves because they feel they have been hurt yeah so probably Percy, before we move on could you answer that one first of all <coughs> Uh, I think in life, mm. we need to know there'll be the days you, you have it, mm -hmm. uh, but the days that things don't work out. Mm. Very true. It's a natural process of life. And mm. sometimes the things that don't work out might be way more mm -hmm. than the things that work out. True. And you need to learn how to deal with them. You need to learn what coping mechanisms. You need to learn that this is a way of life mm -hmm. that I mourn. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just pick myself off from the ground, dust myself off, mm -hmm. and try again and keep trying. That's mm -hmm. how the most successful people in this world okay. have, have done it. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Ahmed, if so. you want to leave, uh, just look for a very nice way to... Usionge mbaya kama utamumiza sana. All right. And we have and Gideon. And as a student of psychology also, uh -huh. uh, I, 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 I have not yet heard about, you know, keeping the marriage <laughs> sick, <laughs> keeping, you know, the wealth and whatever. Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's a common thing that we talk about. All right. Yeah. But there are some things we mm. should... You know, when you're in a relationship, it's important, first of all, to be open and do mm. things on the open. Okay. Uh, it will save you from a lot of things. What that Gideon Kutoka Narok. Gideon, good morning. How are you? I'm quite fine, sir. Nice to hear your voice today. Hey, uh, good morning. Good morning. What is your question or comment? Now, say hi to the bench. Now, say hi to the bench. One thing that I wanted to, maybe two, two, three, two things that I wanted to speak about this morning, about relationships. Yes. One, you know, in, uh, the man in courtship in Kua and a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. But it is started in a way that a young man and a young woman mm. start very well when on their tender age. Mm -hmm. What I get to squeeze to Napatana to cause supermarket, and then I met my girl in the supermarket, I met my girl in the hotel and all that. <laughs> uh -huh. So, God the money in answer, Mama Nanda, why is Boman as a man? I'm so young, we get around, and I'm good at war in the Mutana. And it is that that, uh, that way, and the two Bomas and the two villages, and actually the two families start that relationship from the beginning. Right. And that's why you see our parents on Baha Sai Bad Wako together. Mm. What I do, I don't know if you over lunch, you know, to not forget, ah, these days you don't love me. Mm. Second thing that I have to tell you this. Yes. Even in our relationship these days, if it does not work because there is not that cementation very well. Mm -hmm. Our parents, uh, from the beginning, yeah. especially in our culture of the Maasai. Yes. As yet again, again, I'm already in my own Amutena for a problem of learning. And I end up with my Babayaki to Nataleka and Wombe, and we do one, two, three things to men to cement that relationship. Yes. These of ours, these days, we, we have what we call come with them. We find ourselves, we have mm. come, come with them for three years without the cementation. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, my friend, Bushi, I yes. think uh, for these days, we just have to cement our relationship so that okay. at least to sequence that one, two, three issues. Thank so. you very much, sir. Sam, sir, sir, thank you very much, Gideon from Narok. Uh, we actually did read a story in Narok uh, this morning. Uh, there's a gentleman, a father, who actually took the bride from the son. Anyway, we'll get to that. Yeah. Let us see what you have to say on WhatsApp as what? well. <laughs> uh, morning at K24, let me thank the couple. They are smart and showing love on their faces. To my side, I just did... Uh, with my love for one year after introducing to my family. We only visited her family and he introduced me to the parents that the guy is my friend. We just get on like that. Seven years married now with a loving boy. I am Owen Kapkoros from Bomet. Good stuff. So they did it for a year uh, and, uh, you know, seven years later, here they are. Mm. You've been congratulated, so clearly someone feels that you guys have inspired, and <laughs> I'm sure you're inspiring more who have not yet texted. <laughs> of which Nangojamu to SMS, Harakaraka. All right, um, we have Gideon from Narok who has said that foundation is quite important, and mm. I'll throw that to you guys for about two minutes before we go to the break. Mm. Do you feel like you had cemented this enough as you walked into marriage? 
the question, the, the bigger question is what cementing is there? How do you cement something you don't know? Mm -hmm. I'm sure when we will be married 50 years mm -hmm. and old and stuff, we will still be learning each other. Mm -hmm. So at what point do you say, I have learned this person enough to, to marry them? Marry them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think um, for me, I would say it is, it is, it is a lot, it has a lot to do with, with faith because it is something you can't see. You don't know what your tomorrow is like. Any human being doesn't exactly know what mm -hmm. their tomorrow is like. So mm -hmm. on such a pertinent matter, mm -hmm. you have to rely on something that is not what you see. Because I can pretend. Mm. I, can, I can pretend for four years, five years. Kumbe in Shag, somewhere at the lakeside. Kuna ka, ka yeng fulani. Kuna yeng, <laughs> yeng fulani. Mm. And then she only discovers later like, hey. So what the, at what point then do you say, this is the boundary? Beyond this boundary, now I think I know them enough. Okay. I don't. I don't even know myself enough. I'm learning me. So how how is she going to know me enough to say? Yeah. Time to buy it Gladys, did you feel like you guys had cemented this enough before you got into it? Yeah. Like as you said, mm. getting into marriage is a lot about faith. So um, I had personally, mm. I had prepared myself by reading a lot of books mm -hmm. and researching a lot about marriage, what to expect, and all that stuff. I would point out something that we did that mm -hmm. is very key for us is to find our temperaments, okay. things that don't change about a person. And saying that these things about this person that will not change, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with that. Okay. So if you know a person's character, a person's temperament or personality, and you know that this is the kind of person they are, those are things for me that were the foundation, and that's what we knew about each other that mm. said, I'm comfortable with this person as they are mm. this way. Mm. And if they don't change, I'll be fine. Okay. Um, so that is, that's what we did mm -hmm. together to build a foundation. But every day we keep learning new things about each other, yeah. new things about myself. Because okay. you know marriage how it's a reflection mm. on mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And you keep rubbing each other and saying, oh, Kumbi, I'm like that. And you keep learning new things. All right. Uh, what if you introduce your partner to your friends, they say, ah, sir, now your man's age. How, how about if you introduce them to your parents and your mother is like, that woman, mimi ato kokoa ushago sikuji. Do stand by because that conversation is definitely happening after the break. Gentlemen, this is our close of the weekend with Betty 2020. Man, I'm telling you, we promised you this year is going to be hot, it's going to be massive, and as you can see,